So Aaron, gonna watch the eclipse. How do we have to do it? Well, there are a couple of ways that you can do it. You might have even done this in, in grade school where you can make a pinhole just through a sheet of paper. It's very simple, just like that. So it doesn't require a very large hole, just pin size. And as long as your back is to the sun, you can actually see the sun shining through the hole and it will reflect the eclipse on the ground. So you might want to have a secondary like poster board or something that you'll be able to really see the eclipse or the outline on really well on the ground. Because sometimes if you're doing it over grass um, or the dirt, it's kind of hard to pick up on that shadow. Where do you hold the paper at? Uh, well, if you've got if the sun standing. behind you, just hold it like this so that you're not, so that the sun can go through the hole. Nice. So Are there any... your head over it because otherwise you're going to be looking at a shadow of your head. Any other more fashion-forward ways I yes, could watch this? Yes, of course, my Stellar Eclipse shades. These are really cool. These are, um, you can use these also for viewing the transit of Venus, which is coming up in June, early June. So if you get these now, you can get them at visitor centers like the Saguaro National Park uh, Visitor Center. A lot of bookstores will sell them as well. This is the safe way to watch an eclipse. You don't want to watch it with just sunglasses on or, of course, the naked eye because that will do some serious damage to your eyesight. Right now in the regular light, what can you see? Nothing. It's black. I make a face at you. Completely black. Well, you make faces at me every day, so why should they be <laughs> any different? No, but, but these are, I mean, they're relatively cheap. They're only, you know, maybe a couple bucks a pair. And, uh, and then you're yeah, also saying, for those of us who like to be green, there's a more nature-friendly way? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's an example of, of what I was trying to explain earlier in the newscast. If you stand beneath the shade of a tree, this is a palm tree. We also have palm trees here, so it would work well. The light that shines through the leaves, it kind of filters the light a little bit, but it will actually dapple the ground with what the eclipse looks like. So you can see in this case, it has like all the little crescents uh, on the ground. You can do it that way too. This was actually shot on a beach somewhere, so all of those um, are on sand. So the sand makes a nice uh, sort of screen, if you will. Well, thanks for the tips, Erin. Sure. Those are great ways to watch.